Do you want to know how to undo in Elementor? Perhaps you've gone exploring in your design and you're not really happy with the changes you've made and you know, you're know you overwhelmed with self-loathing and doubt and wishing you could go back to a better day. Uh, well, we'll show you how to do that. Um, but then sometimes you do just flit around with the mouse and you don't know what you've done and you just want to undo a few steps. So I'm going to show you in this video how to use the undo features in Elementor. And at the end, I'm actually gonna make sure that you know how to uh, skip back a few months or even a few years in designs if it's a page you've had for quite a while, uh, just in case you want to revert all the way back to that. There is a feature in uh, Elementor that you can use and we'll cover that at the end of the video. Okay, so let's take a little bit of a peek at a website which, <laughs> which would help this process, wouldn't it? So here we have a demo site that, that I have. This is a, a demo homepage for a website called The Jube Inn. Yeah, it's a pretty lovely site. I've just duplicated this page so that I can show you um, how to use these undo features. Let's start with the first method, the first way that you can undo changes. We might have an inspired moment, which I actually think right now would be the best. Uh, we bring the font weight down and uh, on top of that, perhaps we change the background image of this section uh, to what to to a hamburger you can't go wrong with a with a, a burger and chips and so you know this was an inspired moment but we want to backstep that uh, what is method one of undoing in Elementor well it's to use the simple method that we find in other graphic packages uh, and word documents and things like that it's control or command Z um, people don't know that that exists in Elementor it's the easiest way let's just backstep a little bit command Z got the picture back Command Z, we've got that font weight uh, returned to this awesome boldness. It was better the other way, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, so that was method one, and that is probably the, the method that you would most often use when you are editing your pages, exploring design ideas. Um, and so just remember, it's, it's what once you're using uh, the keys and shortcuts, which you probably grow to do anyway, it's, it's a simple matter of, you know, Command, Control, Z, um, and command control Y. Um, there is another way which you might be interested in and you can actually skip back and, and pinpoint an action say seven actions ago. So let's do a few of those. Um, so we'll we'll do the, do the same again. I've just refreshed the page so that it's nice um, nice and fresh. We're going to we've changed the, the font weight there and I'm going to change this to red. Um, what else can we do? We can delete this button. And look at us just, you know, creating chaos here. Um, and let's do something a bit bigger. Let's delete this event section, okay? So so we've made a number of changes there. Font weight, font color. Uh, we've deleted a section down here. And what we could, we could command Z all of this. But what we're going to do is go to the Elementor interface and right down to the bottom here, we see this history tab and we click on that and we've got a list of actions that we've taken. And so let me just do something so that you can see that it actually increases. So let's um, turn the color of this to red and then revisit the history and we see that we've got heading text color. Now that's just been changed and that's the version that we're on. So if I want to go back to before that action took place, I would click here. Um, let's have a look. We've got section removed, uh, button removed, and so if I want to go back just before that change, I would go to the one beneath it. And this is how we can actually jump um, uh, back for a number of changes. So let's uh, go back to before that button was removed. So I'm going to highlight text editor here and I'll click and there we go. Um, what else? What else do we have? Uh, we should have that section back. We do. Um, and yeah, all is well in Chillsville. So that's another method you might want to use. And just remember, you go to the history tab and you've got this list of actions. Okay, so refreshing the page. And uh, before I show you how you can actually jump back to a version of the page from a few months or even a few years ago, if, if you've still got that, um, uh, unless you've purposefully removed it, I'm going to show you how I tend to work with Elementor. And so when I know that I'm going to start experimenting with a particular section and look for a different design, um, what I actually do is I duplicate the section. Uh, so I, I duplicate it just with a couple of clicks, right click on the section and click duplicate. 
and then I've got two of them. Now, I can make all the changes I want. I can explore that designer within and go, you know, we want to get a bit disco. Um, you know, let's just throw global settings out of the window, have some fun and see what we come up with. So, you know, something like that. My gosh, I'm good. Um, and then figure that out. Now, I can then come to my own conclusions. I can definitely think, wow, that, that needs to come down a little bit. Um, if I think, no, nope, that's not cool, I simply delete and that's it. I'm returned to where I was before. I just find that that's a lot easier than any command Z or going back to uh, the history tab and looking for the actions and finding that. Um, I, I think it's just a much easier way to work and I, I encourage you to try it. Um, I will be honest, Elementor is absolutely fantastic. It's world leading in terms of visual drag and drop no coding page builders but there can be glitches and uh, sometimes you can go back to a, an action and there's something that it hasn't gotten right and you do have to be careful to look for that um, so so I do encourage you use that kind of system it's much quicker when you're actually working on your pages okay so how can we actually go back to a version of the page that might be even months old um, well this is very similar in the history tab uh, I'm actually going to go to a different website um, uh, this is a, a PT sort of a typical um, uh, exercise PT website uh, but what we're going to do is go back to a previous version of this page so if we go to the history tab and I go to revisions we have a list much like we do in the actions tab we have a list of different revisions and these are basically revisions of every time you've hit that update page and so all of these are saved versions of the page. It's astounding really to think that all of this data is kept. And I will actually mention that to you is that it can clog up your database, all of these revisions. And there is a way to limit that in WordPress. And perhaps I should do a video on that. Let me know if that's of interest to you. Because sometimes all of this can amount to a lot of database bloat. And you can actually, with a bit of code, uh, ensure that WordPress only keeps up to about three vision, uh, revisions or ten revisions, um, which is much better than every page, every blog post, every whatever, having all of these different revisions saved. It does mount up. So that is something to keep in mind when, uh, when, when, when thinking about your website. Okay, so I'm going to click all the way to when this page was two years old. Uh, so I'm sorry, that this page was has existed for two years. <laughs> at least and let's just look for any changes here we go click oh, look at that this is what I was playing around with on this page uh, two years back we, we had some different settings um, now this is obviously just a version that I, I was I was messing around with let's go back a bit further oh, my secret is out I used one of my other templates to start working on this one <laughs> um, and again, that, that moves to my point. All of these changes exist and they are, there's a lot of information um, in, your, in, in your database and, and in your WordPress installation. So, right, so there we go. The, these were obviously works in process and this background image doesn't uh, seem to exist there, I suppose, um, because it's not calling it where it thinks it should be. Um, but that is how you can actually revert to previous versions of the page. Go into the history tab, where you will find revisions and obviously I've just brought that back now okay so I hope you found that useful that is how to undo in Elementor and don't forget that there are three actual methods provided by Elementor one is the simple command or control Z the other one is uh, being able to go to the history tab and uh, seek out where you want to go in your actions and the third is actually going back a long way to a previous revision of the page which is when you click that update or publish uh, button at the bottom of the interface um, and, and then the page was saved but do remember to try out my little workflow which is to duplicate a section and then you can make the changes and explore some different design ideas and simply revert back by deleting your new section or if you're happy with your changes you can delete the section that you had there before 
If this has been useful to you, please do subscribe, hit the notification bell, and don't forget to like the video and also throw me a comment, give me some feedback, or let me know anything that you would like to learn in Elementor or with WordPress or with web design in general. If you want to go further into web design, WordPress or Elementor, I do have courses on Udemy, Skillshare, and even one on my YouTube playlist. So please do check those out. There are links in the description below and don't forget to get in touch and say hello. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. Ta-da!